So what y'all think, man? What y'all think? Y'all think these heavy duty? Or y'all think they just regular? Boy, I can't wait till this big ugly ass suspension come up off here. Boy. Sheesh. That shit is an eyesore. Can't wait till that come off of there. I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep, wonder but my body You too, you too What up, what up, what up with y'all, man 87 SS, boy We back with another video, man I don't even know what we doing today But, uh, I got a few minutes before I go to work, so I'm gonna figure something out, man. I'm back in the backyard. I do have to, um, I gotta take the battery out of this cutlass and put it back in the Monte Carlo because I had came out here and did a um, review on some headlights, so I had to bring a battery from my Monte Carlo back here. So I need to get my battery back, put it back in the Monte Carlo, and then um, I actually, I'm getting ready to do some suspension stuff on the C10 so i gotta measure a couple things um figure out what type of suspension i need uh if that makes sense in which i'll get into it you know on the video if this is the one if this is the one that we're gonna be talking about this on um but yeah hey man i'm just glad to be outside i'm glad to be back man uh, we had a snow day somewhat of a snow day uh but it's been cold it's been real cold man i'm just glad to be back outside bro yeah so let me let me grab my battery back off of the cutlass grab my battery back hey like my boy uh fly say ever start man hey y'all don't sleep on them walmart batteries man that's what I be rocking with, even though I'm a uh I'm an employee of AutoZone and we do um we do Duralast, but these Everlast ba ever start batteries, man, they ain't never let me down, dog. Y'all see the last one I had, it was from 2019, and it just went out on me. This got a three-year warranty. Three-year warranty, free replacement. This is from 2023. So I got until next June on this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go put this thing back in the Monte Carlo. I got a little troubleshooting to do on that thing. See, I told y'all we had a little snow. We had a little snow. This is all that's left though. That's because the shade is on this side of my house. Uh, it snowed on Friday. Um, everything was gone literally saturday around noon every all the snow was gone this is still here it is monday now this is what we got left from it and uh like i said we in the backyard man and this part is covered by the house it's always shade back here so that's the only reason why this snow still here yeah so as far as the suspension go on this thing we got a so the first thing I got to do, well, I ain't going to say the first thing, but two things I got to do. So first of all, I got to get these, these, te these tires aired up um, so I can get this rear end off the ground. I got to put the leaf springs under the axle and hook them back up the way that they would be uh, normally um, with the flip kit, right? And what I'm going to have to do is measure hole to hole. So where my shock goes right here and then where the shock go here. So from the middle of this hole to the middle of that hole, I got to measure. That way I know what my my shock travel is. <clears throat> I might have said that wrong. I don't know. But I talked to the suspension people that make the parts. They told me exactly what to do so that I can get the answers and get the parts that I need. Instead of me asking somebody else that may have done it wrong, I call the source. Like I keep telling y'all to do, but y'all don't fucking listen, man. But anyway, 
gotta lift this up uh get the leaf springs under there the way it's supposed to go along with the flip kit um and i gotta measure from hole to hole where my shots will be that'll give me my shot travel or whatever the terminology is for that i ain't no professional man so don't don't come at me bro um so i gotta do that get these tires air aired up and then on the front here I got to take the wheel off. If I can't get to it without taking the wheel off, I got to figure out how wide the uh, the rotors are for the front. So in the front, we're going to be doing a drop spindle. Um, so we're going to be doing a drop spindle and coilovers. So the drop spindle will be between two inches and three inches. Three inches is the most. So it'll be two, two and a half or three inches. The thing is when you buy the drop spindle, um you have to know which rotors you're running on here which rotors and calipers you're running so your rotor is either going to be a one inch thickness or a one and a quarter inch thickness the one and a quarter inch is like the heavy duty ones uh which if you have that one you're going to have different calipers and everything so you got to make sure you order the correct drop spindles for your vehicle if you order the wrong ones then you're going to end up changing out the calipers and all that stuff I didn't notice, man. I didn't notice. Like I said, I didn't notice information, man. You don't want to know where I got the information from? The source. The people that make the suspension products. That's where I got my answer from, man. I talked to them. I told them what I was trying to do. They told me what I needed to measure. It's that easy, man. But y'all don't like to get on the phone with people. Y'all just want to type up. Y'all just want to type up in the in the in the comments and be like, hey, what you got so I can get the same thing. Well, maybe you ain't doing the same thing I'm doing. Or maybe you don't have the heavy duty brakes uh brake system that I have. You know what I'm saying? And then when you order the wrong part, because I got the right part for my application, then you want to get mad at me. Come on, man, grow up. Everybody that watches this channel is at least around my age group. So I know you're used to a phone. You using your phone every day to watch this video, man. Just call them people up. They'll talk to you. They'll tell you exactly what you need. And then they're going to take your money, man. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm attempting to get this, these tires aired up. I'm going to have to take some of the pressure off of them, though. I'm almost positive. Y'all see what I'm using? Y'all seen the review. Y'all better get you one. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all better get one, dog. We're going to go ahead and air this up. I'm going to get my jack. Got my new jack out here. I'm going to get this over there and put it under that rear end. That way I can get some of the pressure off the tires. That way this pump don't have to work so hard. Uh... It's working pretty good already. Man, that thing airing that thing up. Man, I might not even have to put no uh put nothing under it, under the red end. It's definitely airing it up. Y'all see it? Y'all see that space? Yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna have to grab the, the jack. But what I am gonna have to do with the jack is jack up this front end get one of these tires off so that I can measure the um, so that I can measure the thickness of the rotor like I said man free game man free game I didn't know but like I just happened to call the suspension people and they told me exactly what I needed to know and what I needed to check you know what I'm saying get it from the horse's mouth man these people out here in these YouTube streets don't know what the hell they be talking about. Y'all better stop listening to them. Call the people that make the product. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, this thing jacked up pretty good. This is a good little uh, compressor, man. So, yeah, I'm going to get back with y'all, man. Y'all, if you've been here and you haven't subscribed, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me. Hit the notification bell so you be notified when I'm dropping these videos, man. We got projects on projects on projects on projects out there thing. We always doing something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So got the um got the real tires pumped up. Got a little air in them, so they off the ground now. 
um that way when i put the leaf springs back on here and my uh flip kit comes in i can hook the leaf springs up install the flip kit you know just for just for the time being just so i can get my measurement um and then i can figure out what uh length shocks i need for the rear um but then i'm gonna have to take it back off to finish cleaning up everything and then you know fully install it later on so that'll just be a test fit um and then for the front here i got my got it jacked up a little bit i already then took the I already done broke the lugs, so we're gonna go ahead and jack this thing back up. Jack it up just enough. Just enough to get this tire off. That way I can um, measure this rotor. So what y'all think, man? What y'all think? Y'all think these heavy duty? Or y'all think they just regular? Boy, I can't wait till this big ugly ass suspension come up off here. Boy. Sheesh. That shit is an eyesore. Can't wait till that come off of there. What y'all think, man? Oh, I got my ruler. I got my ruler, my tape measure in my pocket. So let's see. What y'all think, man? Y'all think it's an inch or an inch and a quarter? What y'all think? I feel like it's an inch and a quarter, man. So as you know, you still got to compensate for, you know, the wear on the rotor as well. So anything an inch or over would be the inch and a quarter rotor. Anything an inch or less would be the, uh, the one inch. So let's see. Let's see here. So, man, look at that. Man, this thing, oh, I was about to say this thing longer than that, but you see that I didn't realize my tilt was bent. Let me bend this tilt, this tilt back and show y'all because it was showing like one and a half. Yeah, I had to straighten this thing out a little bit. That jump was bent. We got it straight now though. So let's see where we at. Y'all see them numbers. I don't know if it's focusing like it's supposed to, but I know that I have an inch and a quarter rotor. There we go, inch and a quarter. So we got the heavy duty. Uh, that's what I figured that we had, but uh, I wasn't for sure. So I had to do the leg work to get this tire off <clears throat> and check it. So like I said, if you got a C10 and you're doing a spindle swap, you're trying to drop it or whatever, um, that's how you know whether you got a um, a heavy duty or just a normal setup. The heavy duty is going to be an inch and a quarter, and the regular ones is going to be one inch. So, like I said, give or take with the wear of it, uh, the heavy duty may be, you know, anything an inch and over, and then the regular ones will be an inch or less. So, yeah. We know what we got now. Uh, we know what type of um, spindles we need to order, what type of drop spindles. We got the heavy duty inch and a quarter rotors with the heavy duty calipers. So we know what we got to order now for the back. I mean, for the front, for the back, I cannot finish my measurements until the flip kit comes in. Um, I don't know when that's going to be in. I was actually working some out with a company for them to sponsor that kit, but they hadn't got back to me yet. So I'm gonna probably just go ahead and buy it and then go from there. Um, because I'm trying to get the ball rolling, man. The weather is starting to break a little bit, you know, whatever good days I get out of it, I'm trying to work. So that's where we at with it. 
Um, I think that's going to be all we can do for today, guys. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, y'all came here for a reason and y'all got some out of it. While y'all was here, man, hopefully I could have saved somebody a little time and headache because if you don't know about this suspension stuff, you don't know. Like I said, this is new to me. I never worked on an old school truck before. Um, so I didn't, like, I, I just learned about the drop spindles. Like, I never had to use them before. So, but apparently with this truck, you pretty much need to use drop spindles to get the quiet drop that you want or re required drop that you want. Um, I don't really know what drop I'm looking for, honestly. Um, the wheels on this truck is probably going to be 26s. Um, still got to talk with the wifey about that. But it's definitely going to be a big wheel build. Um, it's either going to be 24 or 26. Uh, I think it's going to be 26s, though. Um, so if you got a C10, man, square body, and you got some 26s on it, let me know what kind of drop y'all got in the in the comment section. Even if you don't have big wheels, just let me know what your wheel and tire setup is and uh, and what kind of drop you went with. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and end this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the heavy duties in the front. Uh, and we're going to get it cracking in the back, man. Once we get the, the flip kit in, we'll figure out what our, uh, our shock length should be. I'm going to go ahead and get this tire put back on. And I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Hey, don't be scared to come back, man. Don't be scared, man. Hit it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so we notified. We dropping videos on this square body, man. Let's go. Bitch, don't talk. You going out tough. I done made six half for the whole week. Plug on a plane, then I'm going no tea. I just made four, five, seven on what? I'm hopping that scat and I'm better your block. Nigga want scrap, well, let it go rock. My little nigga got it, I bet he gon' pop. I can make ten off face, no feeling. Six got like killing, I'm smoking gorilla. Cover my niggas, this cover. Nigga, I'm running on dog. I'm running on killing. Smoking, I'm killing. Taking your bitch on the trip and I'm fucked on the floor, my fella. I ain't got time for two things.